what's up it's amber and as you can tell i am super excited to be filming this video for you guys today i'm showing you all my favorite sustainable brands this is a hot topic for me i love finding sustainable and eco-friendly brands but of course definitely either what you have in your closet already is better than just getting rid of all of that and buying eco-friendly brands and also secondhand shopping is always better than buying sustainable brands but supporting these businesses especially a lot of them are smaller businesses is also really important but I just want to say before we get started that I am really really blessed and thankful to be able to afford these pieces I know they're definitely investments but in my opinion they're gonna last me a lifetime they're worth it and you guys will see like how <sighs> great they really are I'm losing my words because I'm so excited so let's just get into it Alrighty, first things first is Heart of the Label. This is just one of the pieces I have. I have four pieces from them. They're handmade in Melbourne, Australia. And one thing to keep in mind before you place your order, they are handmade. It takes about eight weeks for them to get to you, which kind of sucks, but you kind of have to appreciate it at the same time. And another thing, hand wash them all so you don't ruin them and ruin your other clothes. The dyes do run, they're natural. So just keep that in mind. Just soap and water in a sink. Just really, I use Castile soap and it's, been so far so good so I have this purple bandeau from them I think it's called like the Amy bandeau I will link everything down below I'm not sure of the names but I have bandeau I'm pretty sure I got a small they are my favorite and I want to order so many more of these bandeaux they're so easy to throw on and so comfortable the fabric of heart of the label is just unbeatable it's so soft and I also got the Frankie flares I got the short version and they are still a tiny bit too long for me but I am 5'3 um I love them I love them so much um so I have this little matching combo and I believe these are $75 and these are $35 so honestly like my priciest outfit <laughs> that I have ever owned because I do primarily shop secondhand for they in a small Philly I'm trying to film <laughs> Like I was saying, I have the olive green bike shorts. Um, I got them in a small. They are really cute, really soft, and bike shorts are a necessity in Florida because you can't always wear leggings. I'm wearing leggings now, I was gonna show you, but that's for another another, another time. Um, along with the bike shorts, I also got a scrunchie. So this is like half of an item. This isn't just like, anyway. Um, really, really nice scrunchie, the elastic or whatever they have inside. It's really really nice and I like how it's a bit bigger I'm so sorry about the cats but yeah really good scrunchie I liked it a lot um, the bike shorts I believe were $45 and the scrunchie was 10 I don't know like I said I'll have everything linked down below and I also got another bandeau in this beautiful red color as you can tell I did not know this color red was my color, but when I put it on, I was like, holy shit, this looks so good. So nice, also got this in a small. I think I told you I got the bike shorts in a small too. So everything I got in a small, but so nice. These bandos are like my favorite thing in the entire world. I love Heart of the Label and you guys should definitely check out their items if you can afford to. Next brand I have to talk to you about talk to about you guys talk to you guys about is Jonesy NYC I these are my new favorite bras let me just tell you they have two different types of bras these are like the sporty ones I believe with the thinner straps I've not tried their underwear or their bathing suits yet because I don't really need any but if I ever do need some I'll definitely update you guys on how those are but basically everything from Jonesy is made in the USA it's made out of a sorry I forgot what it was made out of it's modal which is a wood pulp derived fabric and the first bra I have is I think it's pine green bra they're so soft I don't know if you can see like just how stretchy and beautiful they are I got it in a size medium and I'm obsessed with it they are the most comfortable bras that I've ever put on my body and the next one same exact style of bra and I believe this is in the color turmeric so I also got this yeah I also got this in a medium such a pretty color bra so nice i just wanted some kind of funky colored bras but still dull enough where i can wear them under things 
if that makes sense. They're really nice. They're the best bras I've literally ever put on my body. And another really great thing about Jonesy is they're plastic free as of 2019. So all the shipping and everything plastic free and I can attest to that. Recently got these a month or two ago and didn't come in any plastic. So that's definitely a plus, I guess, along the lines of bras. Um, organic basics. This is a bra made from tensile, which is another wood pulp fiber, but they also use like organic cotton and recycled materials like cashmere, wool, all recycled. So that's really cool. I do really like this bra. I think I like the Jonesy ones a little bit better, but these are still, this is my favorite like sexy bra. It's really pretty. It's super soft. The material is just interesting <laughs> the material is just absolutely amazing you have the little peephole there they're also GOTS and GRS certified materials so that's super nice they also have all of their factories listed clearly on their website so if you are curious you can definitely go take a look at all of them and I really like how transparent they are with that stuff. the next bra I have from organic basics is just the I'm wearing it sorry but this is the organic cotton one really nice material really nice support and i feel like it's a really good basic to have a nice color and yeah i don't know all right so still along the lines of like bras and lingerie all that stuff i want to talk to you guys about we are hot it's we are hot as hell that's what that's what like ha stands for and i love them i love them i love them so first things first i guess i'll talk to you guys about my only swimsuit from them so i have like the like nine way bra it's in the lime green color. It was recently on sale and that's definitely something I would tell you guys to wait for. They do have a lot of sales where like normally their stuff is like $90 for a top and you can get it for like 20 or 30. So definitely wait for a sale. This bra is really great. You can tie it all sorts of different ways. It's really, really cool. Um, yeah, so this is really nice. I wore this in Hawaii and I got this in a small and it definitely fits perfectly. Along with that, I got the like teensy bottoms or whatever they're called. They're actually a pretty good size bottom. You can stretch out the fabric and they're just great. I love them. They're super comfy. I also really like the cats again. I really like how the tie is only on one side. I think that's really unique. I feel like most bathing suits have them on both sides and it gets a little distracting. So that's really cool. I love those bathing suits and I'll definitely be purchasing more whenever I need to. That's the key, whenever I need to, Amber. <laughs> Next, I got two of the same exact sets but just different colors. The first one I got is in this really pretty yellow color. I'm trying to like straighten out <laughs> the bra. Um, here is the little bralette. It is so, I like twisted it, but you get the, you get the idea. Beautiful lace they use a material called efl and it's made from like corn sugar which is really cool and all of their packaging is like recyclable recycled and or biodegradable so that's also really nice these are super stretchy i love them and along with that i got along with that i got the like 90s bottoms i think they're called they are super cute. They look really weird on, but they sit really high up on your waist. They're just so sexy. So I really like them. And I got this in a medium and I got the top. I'm not sure what I got the top in. I think a small. I'm sorry. I like cut the tag off. Oh, wait. A medium in the top too. So I got the same exact bralette in pink. It's like this rosy pink color and I'm obsessed with it. They're super soft and comfy. And same thing for the bottoms super super sexy and definitely definitely worth it and then i just also got this like black g-string in a medium as well really comfy really stretchy and nice and i just think i need a new pair of black lace underwear so that's it for we are ha you can see like the pile of clothes can you oh no i fixed it you can't see the pile of clothes I'm just throwing over there now. <laughs> Girlfriend Collective, that's all I have to say. It's definitely been getting some press recently, which I love. It is, don't quote me on this, but like my favorite brand in the sustainability realm. I'm wearing their high-rise pocket leggings right now in some color. 
that's like beige i don't know i'm really bad but i have a lot of clothing from them a lot all of their leggings bras everything jackets whatever they're all made from recycled polyester and recycled water bottles all their their blah, 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 can't talk all of their dyes are natural non-toxic and they are that Waco Tech certified. I forget how you say it. I don't know. We'll definitely have it linked down below. Yeah, Billy. I know. I don't. I don't know. Anyway, this is. I think this is called the Topanga bra. I'm almost certain that's what it's called. Um, this beautiful like high neck orange top. It's gorgeous. Stop, buddy. Mama's trying to film. Come on. Say hi. Sorry. He's the one who keeps talking in the background. It's such a beautiful color. I actually got this one off of Poshmark second hand. So beautiful. It's in the size medium because I didn't know what size to get. Honestly, I probably would size down into a small in this specific bra, but still such a great bra. I also have like their standard bra in black so nice is that even yeah okay <laughs> just very basic really nice shirt for the gym also in a size medium i think i already said that such a great bra so soft but also supportive at the same time which is also just like really nice i have a pair of their this is their float collection i think this is inside out it is float collection bike shorts these are the softest i need to get more from the float collection i don't know why i have it these are really soft definitely not in gym material but so soft to just like wear around the house and go to yoga and stuff i have their original bike shorts just their are they pocket ones no just their original like material bike shorts really cute these are the shorter ones i really like them i would wear these to the gym because the material is a little bit more not rough but just more durable i think <sighs> like i said i have the leggings that i'm wearing right now they're the high-waisted pocket legging then I also have the high-waisted pocket legging in green, which is also inside out. Can you see a trend? I have them in this like green color. Wow, those look grumpy. I have them in green, in this lime color, which did I stain it? I have this little mark on it. I don't know what it's from. Can you even see that? I don't know. I'm still gonna wear them, but this like lime green color, it's really bright on camera, but it's a little bit darker in person. Once again, super nice. And then I got are these more pocket leggings. No. So these are the regular leggings. I believe these ones are in the color time. Mom got these for me for Christmas and I'm obsessed with them as well. I also get a size small in everything from Girlfriend Collective other than the bras. Because the bras run a little bit, just a little bit small on me. So yeah, I have a lot of Girlfriend Collective. As you can see, it is, I think it is my favorite sustainable brand. I love it. I wear it almost every single day whether I'm at home or at the gym or just running errands, whatever it is, I always wear a Girlfriend Collective. Definitely an investment, but I think it's worth it. Also, side note, with anything that is a synthetic material, I have a Gubby Friend bag that I'll go ahead and wash these in, and I also let them air dry, so everything so far that I've showed you, I air dry and put in a Gubby Friend bag, other than hard the label, because you have to hand wash that, and it's not synthetic, but anyway. I just wanted to let you guys know that. <laughs> All right, next brand I have is Tala, my beloved gym wear clothing. I know I've seen a couple videos pop up on YouTube about why people aren't supporting Tala, Grace Beverly's activewear line anymore. I haven't really watched them if I'm being honest and I really need to do more research, but as far as I can tell in the research that I've done on the materials and the factories, I still think it's a great brand. I could be wrong and I definitely need to do more research on it. But is that not the cutest top you've ever seen in your entire life? This is one of her tops. Once again, I don't know the name. It's in the size small. I love it. I love it. I love it. They use a ton of natural and synthetic fibers that are recycled or organic and they use even recycled cotton fibers which is really interesting sorry i need to glance over i couldn't think of it for a second but they use a ton of different recycled materials and organic materials and bamboo and i there's just so many to list i couldn't even fathom to write it down but i'm 
I'm obsessed with them. I really do like this brand and all of her factories are listed on the website. And this is another one of the tops that I have in the olive green color. It's the long sleeve. I really love the zippers. They make your boobs look so good. The zipper locks actually when you flip it down. So that's really nice. Um, I just love it. This is also in a size small. They're just great material. I love Girlfriend Collective for the gym too, but I just feel like these are the leggings that you wear when you want to sprint and just get shit done. I don't know. Just feel like the material is just made for that. Just made for everything. I have these leggings in a small. I do have one bit of complaint um, about these leggings and that is the small in the legs fit me fine. This waistband, and it's meant to like snatch your waist. I just think it's a little too tight. It like bunches up sometimes and then you have to like re-straighten out so that it looks flat like this. Um, so then I proceeded to order the mediums. Um, great. Yeah, mediums in black. I have two pairs of the exact same. Well, I do have two pairs of the exact same. One's dirty, I think. And then it's still a little bit tight here, but the legs are too big. So it's just like, I don't know. It, they still look really great. I think nobody would notice. I'm just I'm picky, so like I notice that. Uh, really nice, and it shows. There's like no tags or anything. It's just like printed on. It's polyamide and elastane, and it's made in Portugal. So yeah, I have two of these leggings, and then I have a pair of their bike shorts, which I really love. These I know are the Hosta shorts, and these are great. These are great. They have the little Tala logo, which I do really like. The logo i feel like it's not too out there so i do like these ones too overall i love tala i think they're a great gym brand see now you can see my pile of clothes just gonna nothing's there <laughs> but i love tala i think they're a great gym brands and i'm really happy that someone's doing something sustainable in the gym realm finally it's just so nice my next sustainable product it's actually in use right now this is my everyday bag it is from got bag it's made out of ocean plastic i think they tell you like nine plastic bottles for this little guy and then they do two other backpacks that's like 15 bottles they use pet they have a bunch of different certifications with like ocean cycle for recycled plastic they use a bio-based pu coating to make this waterproof apparently it's waterproof they also have a repair service so if you get a rip or something isn't working you can send it in and they'll try their best to repair the product for you which i also really love it has a cute little wave sign in the back so it has this back pocket which you can fit a lot it has my mask lip balm all of that and then it just has like a nice big size pocket in here like i said it's in use because this is my grab and go bag whenever i just need to leave the house and go but really great bag i don't know if this is in the same category as like clothing and fashion but i think it looks really nice sometimes i'll wear it as like a sling or just as a hip pack or just like throw it on my shoulder and just get out the door i don't have to worry about it it's black it's such a durable material i don't think it's ever gonna fail me so that's that's just all you can really ask for now we're on to shoes i have two different shoe brands to show you guys and they're both sandals I love this one's a newer one for me the other ones i've had for a while but these are honestly dirty already these are by the brand okabashi i don't know if you guys have ever heard of it i heard about these from shell bezel here on youtube she's a zero waste lady and i love her and these can you believe are actually sold at target they are recycled and recyclable they are a closed circle company okabashi so once you're done with these shoes you just send them back they grind it up and make new shoes out of the same exact material which that's just the epitome of zero waste in slow fashion so these are really great they just are super cute really flexible really soft i really really like them i think they're such a durable like shoe and they're only 20 dollars. and you can find them at your local target which is absolutely amazing how these brands like this can just slip past everybody's minds. It's just insane to me. So love these. See, they've gotten wear and I've had them for maybe a month. 
they're great they come in this tan color and black and then they also have flip-flops which i do have a pair of flip-flops outside that are also my work shoes so i'm not gonna bring them like work outside shoes anyway i'm not gonna bring them inside but great quality shoe also made in the usa so i have an obsession with these shoes i have three pairs say hi willow what are you doing hi i have an obsession with these shoes and i'm okay with it this is by the brand indosole they're a certified b corporation they use recycled tires they kind of grind it into a powder and turn it into a new material and they also use a like natural rubber i believe to create like the tops of the shoes and they source that ethically in indonesia so that's really great i have three different kinds i have two slides which these are nasty look at that that looks horrible on camera i promise in person they don't look that bad these are the gray slides they're thin they're literally like a feather see how thin and light they are but they're super comfy they do have an arch support if you can see that they're literally the best i ended up scoring these ones on poshmark which was super cool they don't normally have them but blue navy blue really nice um slides and then i also have just their black flip-flops and i love them they're like the perfect shoe for me i live in florida i wear flip-flops all the time and these ones are just so lightweight and you feel like you're wearing nothing which is the ultimate goal for me personally so definitely love these guys <sighs> okay so i was debating about putting this company this brand into this video because i know they're not 100 percent eco-friendly company they do have fair wages, they are a certified B Corporation, they are also climate neutral certified, and their Del Dia line is made from dead stock fabrics from different companies that they use to make sure that it does not become a waste product basically. And every time you order from them, you get a card with a signature of the person who created the design that you pick out on their website. And I just think they do deserve recognition. I know they do repurpose materials and I think they do good for the world. So I definitely wanted to show you guys some pieces that I have from their Del Dia line. So first things first is their fanny pack. I believe it's a three liter fanny pack and i was able to pick out this colorway it is green blue pink and yellow and every single one of their products has gear for good on it well like backpacky kind of products and it has a really cool recycled plastic like clip really sturdy and strong um i think it's great i think it fits a lot i use it on my morning walks it's big and it has pockets in the back if you want to use some organization skills in there i love it i think it's great quality and yeah it definitely makes a statement which i think is pretty cool another like gear kind of purchase from them is i think this is their tazra 16 liter backpack i just loved the look of like the tan on the back and anyway it's just a great travel backpack this is my personal item when i go on planes it's two huge front pockets um nothing really dramatic goes on in there except the top one has like a sectioned zipper thing here which is super cool and then the really cool thing is is you could also tuck in these straps and kind of turn it into like a briefcase kind of thing and the super cool thing is when you open it up it opens up like a suitcase and you have all of this organization and this is a zippered pocket so you can put your clothes in here your like laptop and pens and pencils it's just a sick bag it's it's really great and i love it i've used it a lot i use it in hawaii use it in colorado just it's great you can see my pile is just getting bigger and bigger um for clothes i have two items the first one are my hiking pants my go-to hiking pants and they are just Great. they are great they're purple and they're just they're so nice the material is just so stretchy and so soft you can tie your pants and i got a size small the pocket in the back is a zippered pocket and mesh with the bottom so if you get sand in it and you have two pockets in the front as well as a little zipper here on the side can you see that wait where is it right here zipper here on the side in the lower region of your leg anyway great pants and i'm obsessed i wear them i've worn them for 
tens, twenties, thirties miles. I don't know what I'm saying. A lot of mileage in those pants, and nothing is nothing's wrong with them. My next and newest purchase from them is this windbreaker. <sighs> it is just glorious, isn't it? It is so cute and so lightweight. It has a big old pocket, big old front pocket. It's Velcro, so you can keep all of your stuff from getting. It's waterproof, I believe, to a certain extent. And it's just super lightweight. I feel like in Florida, wow, that's cool. I didn't realize that. The flap says Tekka Windbreaker. It's 100% repurposed polyester with water resistant DWR finish. Wash cold. Um, it was made by Cotopaxi in China. And it has the exact location, I just can't pronounce it. And I got a medium in women's and it's a men's small because they're unisex. Just so nice and like, you can shove this anywhere like after a beach day or a lake day. Like this is a great little like outer layer. So I love it. I think it's great for even backpacking. Look at how small. I got this on the REI sale. Originally they're like 90 bucks and I scored it for like 50. That's why I got it. And I really not, that's not the reason why I got it. I've been needing a windbreaker. I don't have one and I need like an outer layer when it gets chilly outside. I'm going to rip my cat's head off in a second. <laughs> Whew. So that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed talking about all my favorite sustainable brands and I have a huge pile to put away now. Well, try on and then put away. So if you guys like this video and you want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you want to see more of these kinds of videos or whatever. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh.